Hey everyone, today we are diving into how you can change someone's hairstyle in Automatic 11.11. And I've got two awesome methods to show you. First, let's check out this image here. I created it using Stable Diffusion just to make things smoother for us. This setup lets us quickly send the prompt to either text to image or in paint. The first method we are exploring is using text to image in Automatic 11.11. Just click this button here to send your prompt over to text to image. There we go. The prompt is all set. But starting with a realistic vision based model, that's the SD 1.5 model. But feel free to experiment with other models if you like. Now, let's adjust the size. Our original image is 1024 by 1024. So let's scale it down to 512 by 512 for now. By using high res fix to double that size back up to match our needs. As for the seed, we are keeping it random to add a little unpredictability to our results. Now we are hitting the most crucial step, setting up control night. First things first, upload the image where you want to change the hairstyle. Once that's done, imprint directly on the models here. Here's a tip, try visualizing how big the hair area will be after the hairstyle change. Then you can start painting according to your visualized area. If that sounds a bit tricky, no worries. You can run a few test images first to see how the hair area looks and then paint accordingly. After you've painted the desired area, go ahead and select in paint as your control type. This will replace the areas you painted with the new content from the prompt while the unpainted areas will remain untouched. This focus change means that you are only altering the hairstyle, nothing else. Make sure to set the preprocessor to in-paint only. All right, time to update our prompt. Write down the new hairstyle you are aiming for. Make sure the prompt matches the area you just painted, and then hit generate. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, here's the updated picture after the hairstyle change. Looks like we got a bit of a bald spot there. No worries though. Let's go back and touch up the hairstyle area. This time, make sure to include the forehead area as well. Then hit generate once more. This go around, the results look a lot more like what we were aiming for. To wrap this up, let's talk pros and cons. One downside of this method is that impaint in control net is limited to SD 1.5 models. The main hitch with the 1.5 model is its struggle with very complex details. If your repaint includes intricate details, they might not come up perfectly. On the flip side, the great advantage here is the ability to layer more control night adjustments to refine your control over the outcome. For instance, if the subject face is at an angle, you can integrate open pose to precisely manage the face angle, ensuring the newly painted content blends seamlessly with the original. This gives us more flexibility and accuracy in our edits. Now let's dive into the second method, which use image to image in automatic 11.11. Head back to the PNG info interface and click on send to in paint.
Perfect. The prompt and the image are now ready. Next up, the paint on the hair area. For this method, by using the Jagger XL in paint model, which is specifically designed for in painting tasks and really excels at them. Let's start shaping our prompt. Write down the new hairstyle you're aiming for and detail out the areas you painted. We can remove any negative prompts that might interfere. Scroll down a bit. You want to adjust the max blur based on what you see. If you notice any obvious seams in the image later, go ahead and increase the max blur to smooth things out. Don't forget to check the soft in painting option too. This feature enhances the blending of in painted areas, making the transition look much more natural. If this option isn't available, you might need to update your automatic 1111 to the latest version. Set the denoising strings to 1 for a cleaner fish. Alright. Scroll up and hit Generate. And there we have it, the final image. This approach offers a seamless and effective way to update hairstyles with some pretty impressive details. To wrap things up, the real game changer with this method is the Jagger XL in paint model. It's tailored specifically for in painting, and honestly, it performs better than the other models out there. If you're not happy with the results from text to image, you can always switch to this model to fix things up. Thanks to its being an XDXL model, it reproduces details beautifully. The only drawback is that it doesn't integrate with some control net features to enhance control. But don't worry, you can compensate for this using the first method we discussed. Alright, that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, why not hit that like button? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.